and to the Kalimia Mountains we return, home of the most delicious and excessively abundant Kalimia bananas. And tis here that the sun shines as bright as the potassium is high. Our team of researchers, humanitarians really, are helping to unload some of the chimps' extra bananas in order to ensure their continued good health. Seems their potassium levels are quite out of control. The chimps seem to be uh, reluctant to um, relinquish their bananas, so the researchers have had to come up with creative ways to obtain them. All approved by the IRB, of course. <laughs> in order to obtain access, to help the chimps, of course, you'll see our researcher here in a monkey suit, clutching a bunch of bananas, which represents pseudo-hyperkalemia a state in which potassium levels are falsely elevated. Pseudohyperkalemia has many potential causes and can include phlebotomy errors, like drawing from a line near a concurrent potassium infusion, hemolysis, prolonged tourniquet time, or sample cooling. It can also result from other elevated lab values like high platelets or an elevated white blood cell count. So, during their raid, uh, uh, mission, mission, <clears throat> It's important to keep continuous cardiac monitoring, as represented by the continuous EKG vine, and order frequent EKGs, as hyperkalemia can cause peaked T waves, as seen here, shortening of the QT and QRS widening that, if severe enough, could even progress to a sine wave, and a sine wave is a terribly bad, uh, um, sign. To evaluate potential causes of hyperkalemia, this same researcher has brought his suitcase full of test tubes to remind us that we should get labs to assess renal function, white blood cell count, platelets, glucose, and calcium level. Of course, there may be specific situations where particular labs may be indicated. Uh, consider a digoxin level, if applicable, uh, CPK or myoglobin, if rhabdomyolysis is expected, uh, uric acid, if tumor lysis syndrome is in the differential, or aldosterone, if mineral or corticoid deficiency is a possibility. Oh, I see some uh, guard chimps urgently signaling that there are intruders. I mean, well-meaning researchers in their midst. And that the situation is becoming emergent because their tails have formed the number 6.5. This symbolizes the level that emergent treatment is needed, even if the patient is asymptomatic. Of course, you should also emergently treat your patient if they have symptomatic hyperkalemia or if the potassium is greater than 5.5 and there are continued risk factors for further elevation. When in doubt, ask the nearest kalemia chimp. They're always willing to help, generous with both their medical advice and their plantains, as long as you don't steal them. 